What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Roger Gutierrez versus Hector Garcia. This is for Gutierrez's WBA Super Featherweight title. And I think it's going to be a very good matchup. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Gutierrez. He's coming off a trilogy fight against Rene Alvarado in which he won. But it took him a few rounds to get going. He wasn't throwing a lot of punches in the early rounds. But when he does get comfortable, he's got a good straight hand. When he connects, he can freeze you in your tracks. He uses the jab well. He likes to fight from a distance where he can see you right? See what you're doing, see how you're going to come in, but he can't fight from the inside, right? He can punch. And when he decides to be aggressive, he can bang with you, right? You look at him and you might say to yourself, like just from the physical test, you might say, man, this guy doesn't have a lot of pop like that. Doesn't seem like he has a lot of power like that. And you see him in the ring and you see how he sits down on his punches and you look at his record and he's won most of his fights by way of knockout, right? So he's got pop. He's a good combination puncher and he's got good movement in the ring. In his second fight against Alvarado, he showcased that perfectly. Sometimes, though, he's a little reckless when he goes on the offense and he pulls back on his punches. Sometimes he gets caught with the big shots, and that's usually the shots that catches him when he's pulling back. But in the trilogy fight, he came in to box, and he didn't come in to start swinging. He wanted to be smarter because he took a lot of clean shots in the second fight with Alvarado, even though he knocked down Alvarado a few times in that fight. He still got caught with some good, clean, flush shots and so i think because of that in the second fight in the third fight he started off a little bit slow and changed up the style and the tactics and did things a lot differently and still find a different way to get the win let's talk about hector garcia the 2016 olympian he's coming off of the biggest win in his career to date against chris colbert a lot of people were saying in that fight that hector garcia it was a lucky win for him but I don't think that was the case for me. I thought he came in on short notice and was a lot more dialed in and stuck to his game plan. Whereas I think Colbert might have overlooked him a little and got surprised of how good Garcia was. Garcia might not have fought the caliber of guys that Colbert had, but he did not let the moment go to waste. He made sure that he was prepared, that he was ready for the opportunity when it came calling. And on this night, it came calling he took advantage of that. He's got power. He's got size. He's aggressive. And he's not going to back down from you. He's a good body puncher. He's a good placement puncher. He made Colbert fight. He made that an ugly fight. They stood right in front of each other and traded shots. Not a lot of footwork and angles were taken from either of those fighters. But Colbert, I'm thinking to myself, man, you move a lot better than this when I was watching the fight. Like, this isn't your style of boxing. But Colbert got sucked into fighting Garcia's fight. And he lost that fight. Garcia fights essentially the same way in every fight. He's going to come forward. He's going to wear you down. He is going to let the hands fly when the opening is there. He's a well-conditioned fighter. He's a very consistent fighter throughout the rounds. And he can take a shot as well, too. He took some big shots against Colbert. And in the fight against that, against Avalier, he got, he got dropped in that fight. And when he got up, you could see the, the switch was flipped. And he started to dial in, started to become more focused, and he got the win in that fight. So you know he's tough. You know he's mentally strong and resilient. Garcia is going to make you fight. If he can make you abandon your game plan and fight his game plan, you might be in trouble. He likes to go to the body, and Gutierrez has to be wary of that. So in this fight, I'm going with Hector Garcia for the upset. I think Gutierrez is going to try and come into this one and box like he did in his last fight, but it's going to take him a few rounds to feel confident to strike to let his hands go, right? He knows the power of Garcia. And I also don't like the movement when he does pull back because I could see when he is pulling back, Hector Garcia putting that straight hand right and catching him on the chin. I think Garcia is feeling extra confident come from that last fight as well too. And he's going to make this his normal fight, a pocket fight. And the body shots and the roughness and the size, I think will wear Gutierrez down. However, Gutierrez, as I said, he can bang and fight with the best of them from the inside. But I don't think that's a risk that he is going to take in this fight. If he lets his hands go early, okay, it'll be a much different fight. But I'm just not sure that he is going to do that based on what I saw from his last fight. 
So I have Garcia winning this fight by decision. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App Panda will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And we'll definitely see you next time.